fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a very quiet Tuesday, July 11th. Not much happening right now. A uh, bit of a holding pattern situation with stocks are holding at their highs. Euro is holding above 113.10. Uh, this chart here is important in our eyes this week. This is the DXY chart. You see this 200 day moving average has held perfectly um, one, two, three times for the entire year so far basically and then if you go back um, to basically May last year we've been above this 200 day very tidy little moving average there we touched it um, on Friday 96.50 is kind of your number, a nice round number there. You want to keep an eye on this um, because we're talking about a change in trend in uh, in the dollar. This this will be key. A daily close above below this will will confirm change in trend. Until then, we're just mildly chasing this change in trend. A um, little bit less conviction close below that we get more conviction euro obviously the 200 day is very close as well uh, it's not quite as tidy um, as the DXY but we've broken this trend line this mildly downward sloping trend line we haven't touched this thing uh, in since last May uh, should be resistance first touch but you'll want to kind of watch DXY Obviously, DXY, 60% of it is Euro. Dollar Yen does uh, affect, does have some effect there, so you want to keep an eye on what Euro Yen is doing. Um, but this is also very important. 113.68 is Euro Dollar, um, 200 day. Super quiet range last night, 10, 10 ticks. We're quietly short. We bought the dip yesterday, and now we're just sitting with a very uh, social amount. Um, I mean, we're quietly short dollars, social amount of euros uh, to see if this thing can do something. Obviously, Friday's range, uh, 132.50, 113.50, 113.50. Um, total inside day yesterday, and this will be telling. You know, breaking the non-farm uh, range, so 113.50 or 112.50, we still retain a bullish bias. Boons turning a little bit, red day there. Uh, don't see red days too often in boons in the last uh, couple of weeks. This uh, low is important today, 170.68. Obviously, if boons head lower, this is good for euro. You just want to kind of keep a quiet eye on this. Um, and it'll add to your story uh, if you're playing along with us uh, on the long side. Equities did not fill the gap yesterday uh, as we expected that they would, um, but really didn't do anything. Total doji indecision after one, two, three, four, five, five massive up days of 5%. Um, so it's interesting now. So we're kind of 2905, 2880. Remember what a doji is. It's indecision. It doesn't mean it's going higher or it doesn't mean it's going lower. You need confirmation with price now. So bears get a little bit of a um, little bit of confidence with prices below 2880, and bulls get further confidence above 2905. We're square this stuff for now. Um, we will be trading it, trading extremes on the top side. So um, we will be selling. We won't be selling 05s, obviously, because there will be momentum chasers up there. But between 05, uh, between 15 and 20, we will be selling some today um, if we get up there. On the other side of the coin, uh, depending on the news flow, we will be hitting bids uh, below 28.80 in a tactical um, in a tactical way, looking to get short after this extended up move. Aussie uh, 
we saw our uh, North American guys got long in this stuff. Um, not really sure. Looks looks pretty bearish to me still. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. This looks like you can sell this rally. And one of the things I've been thinking about recently is Euro Aussie should go a lot higher. Because I'm not sure why Aussie is doing this, but um, Aussie looks really, really weak. So Euro Aussie looks like a good horse. Buying Euro Aussie dips looks okay. Today you can probably buy between 55 and 35 on the 162 handle with the idea that 162 is not uh, going to trade today. We've of course broken these highs marginally um, at the highs now, 162.60. Euro Aussie looks looks like a decent trade based on price and a little bit on story. Um, I mean, Aussie price-wise just looks like crap. You could give a thousand reasons for that. Uh, and Euro price-wise doesn't look amazing, but it does look constructive. Euro Aussie uh, has some legs. A lot of people asking us about gold. Obviously, bearish day uh, yesterday. We we we're going to be collecting gold in the 20s, as I said in the tweet yesterday. We're in no rush uh, to collect this because, I mean, gold like equities got stretched. We're looking for some consolidation here, sort of between 1320 and 1350. You probably might even see a move down to 1308 on some silly, you know tomfoolery, uh, just markets being markets, but uh, gold looks very, very constructive. Let's take a look at the weeklies in gold. Uh, two big constructive weeks, as we talked about yesterday. The key for us, the real big, big key, long-term trend key is 1370. Um, so this is gold. This is the gold futures market, not the cash market. Cash prices will be slightly different. What else? Uh, let's look at dollar max. It did get its last percent in. We talked about it at the open at, at 1925. And we were kind of like, we don't want to chase this. Um, but we did get down to 1915, which is quite a decent move. Definitely don't want to chase this. Continue to, to think we don't want to chase this. And, and more than likely, this is probably now going to consolidate back back into the range. Let's keep in mind that there's some sort of there are there is like psychological damage done to Mexico with the fact that its neighbor um, acts like a psychopath and just is willy nilly wielding um, weapons, trade weapons, immigration weapons. Um, you know, could be any day where he says we're going to try and stop the drug flow f through Mexico and blame Mexico for that, or you know, God knows. There is some damage done um, to Mexico. It's like a it's like a castle wall being damaged. So I don't think this is you know this is the time to say okay Mexico is in the clear. Let's all jump on the peso. More than likely this will move back up. Maybe touch the 200 day 1935 sideways consolidation um, here. Don't have a dog in this fight. Just wanted to mention it. Euro sterling uh, is at resistance here. Um, this sort of 89.30 to 50 area is resistance. We do have a, a slew of earn, a slew of numbers out today. We've got weekly earnings. We've got ILO employment, um, and we got uh, jobless claims out of the UK today. Looks pretty extended, but the numbers yesterday were awful. Um, so we're not really in fade mode yet. We may think about fading this at 89.50.55. Um, but we like Euro higher and things look bad in the UK. So just careful here. But it's very, very extended. Um, no dog in this fight. Just mentioning it. Let's, uh, let's take a look at cable. Also on its knees. Printed 54 low today. There's no reason we can't um, we can't come visit this 125.70. And of course, if we do euro sterling, it's going to fly. Um, 
we're looking for just consolidation. I don't think we're going to make a new low. Um, but I'm going to watch these numbers and keep an eye out, basically. On the flip side, though, let's just talk about this. Surely everyone and their dog is looking for weak numbers out of the UK today. So if these are stronger, if these do beat, um, you could see a nice squeeze. Again, we're not playing around in sterling right now. We don't have a great feel for it. But we know there's going to be risk above 127.65. Um, and if you look just kind of on the hourlies, 305 on a really strong number we will probably pay. Um, but again, be careful trading on numbers. I, don't, I think a lot of you don't have institutional setups, don't have the liquidity or the internet speed to properly trade numbers. Um, so don't, don't try and do something you're not set up to do. I don't really have much else to say. Dollar Yen uh, is doing nothing. A little bit bigger, more of a range than Euro. Let's call it 35.65, but just dead. Um, we're still patiently waiting to sell high ones here if we get a chance. Uh, not much to say here. In general, it looks like we're going to have a super quiet day. Um, so let's not try and get blood from a stone. Chisel, chisel a few dollars out of this market and be happy with that. And we are patiently waiting for CPI tomorrow. Good luck out there, people. Go ahead and make some dough, and uh, I will talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.